but growth is core to our strategy and our strategy is always to grow with differentiated products, the best, most innovative, highest quality products in the market. And we've also long had a focus on emerging markets. It's our passion to bring the best protection to people who need it all over the world. And there are many healthcare professionals in India today who, who are wearing the wrong products. They're not adequately protected. So with this facility and this investment, we'll grow, but in ways that benefit healthcare professionals. So this is core to our investment strategy, and our number one focus for investment is on growing our business. Well, one of the best things I heard today was that our reputation is starting to spread in this community and that people are actually coming to the gates and saying, can I work there too? And that means so much to me because at our core are our values and we say Ansel is a safety company. We talk about creating a safer future and that begins with how we treat our workers. So I think there is a tremendous spirit and atmosphere, one of the best that I've ever experienced anywhere in Ansel. And, and that's the kind of impact that we can have. If people really want to work here, if they feel uh, empowered, if they feel they're growing, if they feel safe, if they feel they can be themselves at work. Yes, well, it's certain, so it begins with our values. And I would say there's one value that most Ansel people around the world would come back to and say, that's us, and it's our passion. So we really believe in what we're doing. We really believe in our contribution to society. And we want people who work here because they feel they make a difference. And I saw that today in the team that I was interacting with. So I think that's the one thing that makes Ansel stand out against other companies. So we have made um our public goals are that for our greenhouse gas emissions, we want to be zero by 2040 um, and uh, have a reduction of over 42% by 2030. Now for greenhouse gas, we deploy a number of different technologies and here you can see we are uh, generating our own electricity uh, by having photovoltaic cells for all our, uh, all our factory. The first phase is just going to be under one megawatt, we're hopefully going to get to just over one and a half megawatts and be able to sustain 40 to 60 percent of our electricity needs. The good news is, being situated here in Tamil Nadu, we can also access green electricity, which is going to be great. So our scope to emissions here will be zero. The second part of our sustainability measures is around our, our we use a lot of thermal energy, and we'll have a, a brand new biomass technology with our partners in, uh, in Thermax, and uh, that will provide also sustainably sourced um, uh, uh, fuel. Uh, which means, again, for our thermal energy, we will have zero net emissions already for this factory. So this factory, you know, from day one, will be very close to zero emissions. And we'll work very hard, so I'm, I'm very hopeful this factory will be a zero emission factory well before the end of this decade and well before our, uh, our global target for our factories. The good news is, is what we learn here, we can also use for our other factories. The second part of our global sustainability is around reducing our water footprint. Uh, water is a very, very precious resource. It rained here today, uh, and that was the first rain in a long time, so water is a very, very um, important uh, resource to conserve, and we're committed to reducing our water footprint um, as part of the uh, of WRI uh, work that we're doing, and this factory will, have, will recycle over 97% of the water it uses will be a zero liquid discharge site. Again, the know-how of these technologies that we're going to refine here, we will be able to use across the Ansel world oh, wow, that's to bring the best of COVI to all over the world and all over our operations. We learned through all the disruptions that we faced over the last year. So in these last uh, three or four years, for global supply chains have come across crisis after crisis, be it COVID, uh, be it uh, trade or, or world geopolitical shocks. We have learned that global supply, ch supply chains are fragile. What we have learned is because surgical is such an important part of our business, we have got to diversify. And diversifying here, as well as being able to serve our local market, enables us to have one of our biggest, most sophisticated plants in 
be able to serve anywhere in the world. Uh, and that means that Ansel has multiple sources uh, for the same product or technology across a number of different countries, which means that we can sustain and still serve our customers. And why that's important for our customers is because they depend on our products every single day. I want the surgeons of the world, the healthcare workers of the world, not to think about uh, which, uh, you know, can I get the, the glove that they want, the glove that they enjoy, our products. I want them to focus on helping their patients. And to do that, we, our job in supply chain is to have resilient and reliable supply. And Ansel Covi is a very, very big part of building that resilient supply chain. And I'm really pleased that uh, we've made this investment and look forward to serving many, many millions of customers from this part. As you know, in Ansel, we give uh, priorities for three important stuff. First is safety, second, quality. But although we say first, second, it's almost first. And, third, and the next one, I am not using first, second, third, it's people. Yeah. So always we talk about safety, quality, and our people, the most important stuff. In, in uh, safety, we talk about employee safety as well as the product safety. You are asking about the employee safety. So simply I can say, even any employer who are working in our factory, if he finds any unsafe condition, he can, without having any issue, he can stop the machine. So that is the, that is the confidence level we have given to our employees on their safety. And I always talk about safety. We always tell, think safety, home safe. Why all our Ansel members, Expectation is, yes, if an employee is coming to the factory at 6 o'clock, that particular employee should go home in the same way after his shift. Kobe is a very strategic and very important launch for us in India because uh, India is still predominantly a quartered market, so almost 70% market share is still quartered. Uh, whereas in 2017, USFDA banned quartered clubs. And after gloves coming into medical devices in India, now this border ban is expected to be applied in India as well going forward okay. in the future. And once that happens, there will be huge need of good quality border free gloves, where exactly this Kovai line comes into picture. This plant is made in a way that it uh, supports the increased demand of border free high quality gloves in India. Indian healthcare also is expanding leaps and bounds. And definitely we see a huge demand for that and there we are going to place a very good demand. First is uh, Ansel in fact was the first pioneer into India which uh, changed the way gloves were promoted. Mm -hmm. Earlier it was one glove for all kind of a setup. Okay. But now every doctor has a different need and they select a different glove. So for example, neurosurgeon will have a different need and they will need a glove which is a thinner, more sensitivity and all. Whereas orthopedics would need more thicker gloves so that they are protected all the time. A lot of doctors are now adhering or adopting the double gloving technologies. So that way we have changed the way uh, the glove business is looked into. And uh, we definitely are going towards specialization. We are definitely going towards a border to border free conversions. As I shared in my uh, earlier comment that Potter Gloves are banned by USFD and Ansel is working on building on that and trying to bring in Potter Free Club to mm -hmm. India. Yeah, this is uh, going to be a game changer for us, right? Uh, having this uh, launch uh, with Ansel Kowai facility. And we see like, you know, the products which are coming up uh, is for the healthcare. And then we also are coming up with some life science products. And life science is something, you know, one area where we are more keen to get inside. We have uh, tremendous opportunities uh, to, you know, work with life science industries. And having a local facility here where we are producing a look, you know, high quality products. This is going to really give lots of impact when we will speak to customers and provide our solutions. The market today, they need lots of education also there. Exactly. Right. And this is what we see. People, they treat the products what we'll be making here. They're not going only to be sterile products. 
But when we talk about life science, they are going to be accepted clean, right? That means they are clean products and those are the products actually which are being required by the life science. So we have opportunity to educate them and we also get opportunity to bring our customers here in this facility because it's accessible, they can see and this definitely will give us a big lead going forward. Ansel is committed for establishing and uh, achieving gender uh, diversity from an outset. So this is very, very important for us. And there are many research happen. McKinsey say that when you have a gender inclusive workforce in your environment, in your workplace, it, in it increases your bottom line by 25%. So that's very important. Diversity, inclusion and equity is something which is having a prime um, importance for us. So um, uh, many things which we are doing to support uh, gender diversity is that we encourage our participation of female employees in the workforce. And the fact is that um, across the globe, 50% population comprises females, right? And if you are not encouraging them to be a part of your workforce, you are limit limiting your 50% talent. So that is absolutely important. Uh, female participation is important to have better collaboration yeah. and to bring a different perspective on together. It's a very important subject in the topic uh, to speak about. So answer values and the culture, values, code of conduct, anything. It acts as a North Star for us and it has been hardwired in uh, across the level in the company. Um, so it's it's very important for us is that doing the right things when no one is watching. So that is something on which we always strive to work for. Uh, when you join Ansel, what it looks like? So it's an it's an it's an open canvas, and you are here free to design your own lovely story. It depends on you where, which road you would like to take and where you would like to fly. So a uh, couple of initiatives which we have done for providing. Uh, wellness uh, benefits for employees like we have uh, frequent training programs okay. we do encourage our employees to do frequent check-ins about the mental uh, checks whether they are feeling comfortable we have uh, many sort of interactions across the globe so that work-life balance and I think that that really supports employees towards yeah, that, wellness. That, that, that. Ansel is a multinational company and we have a presence across the globe so it's needless uh, to, uh, to mention that uh, employees have a couple of opportunities. We do send our employees across the globe for different uh, work assignments. Uh, we encourage our employees to take as many as the programs available in the company. We have defined talent programs okay. for the high potentials of, of, of an organization so if, if an employee is very ambitious and very passionate to go about then I think sky's the limit for Ansel. Oh. We have a fantastic opportunities and, and learning and development is, is a core of our organization okay. because Ansel believe that um, when you have to have your leadership it should be inbuilt from the company so, so we truly work on that and very passionate about building our talents and contributing towards the company growth.